Contrary to common belief, saints are not perfect. They simply seek Christ more than anything else. Saints understood the need for Christ in their own lives through their own experiences. Saint Therese of Avila did not live a perfect life, although she strived for it after her conversion. Saint Teresa, after living in the world, realized her desperate need for a personal relationship with God. But by no means was she perfect. She was a Spanish mystic, writer, and reformer of a Carmelite order. She was born in Avila, Spain, on 28th of March, 1550. Her parents were both pious Catholics, and in some ways inspired their daughter to take up a life of prayer. As a young child, Teresa showed signs of a deeply religious nature. She would often retreat into silence for prayer and would enjoy giving alms to the poor. 15th October is her feast day, probably the female saint and mystic with greatest influence in the world. Just being a woman is enough for my wings to fall off, St. Teresa said. This statement, written in her autobiography, is one of the famous sayings of this great saint, whose full name was Teresa de Cepeda Yahomada. As a young girl, Teresa was fascinated by hearing and reading stories about the martyrs because they had shed their blood and had seen God. And she, in order to see him, wanted to speed up time. In fact, she convinced her younger brother Rodrigo to run away with her to Muslim lands so they could be martyred and in this way would be able to see God. Their family members found them just outside the hometown of Avila. But that was Teresa and that was her determination as a young girl. So to get to know this thing better on her feast today, here are a dozen interesting facts about the saint. She felt that a day she couldn't read a new book was a day lost. With the complicity of her mother and behind the back of his strict father, she read books about the great deeds of knights, which were very popular at that time. She was independent and autonomous. When she understood that God was calling her to be a nun, and after she told her father she decided to leave her parents' house and went to the monastery of the Incarnation in Avila. After a few years in the Incarnation, she understood that God was calling her for a different life. She left the Incarnation convent and renewed the congregation, joining with St. John of the Cross. She established many convents throughout Spain. She traveled on foot and thus became the walking saint. She taught her nuns to think and pray on their own and to concentrate in order to hear the Lord in their interior in what she called the interior castle. She always abandoned herself in God's will and she was a very determined woman who knew where she was going. She often used to say, I am yours, Lord. I was born for you. What do you want from me? In 1622, 40 years after her death, she was canonized by Pope Gregory XV. In 1970, together with St. Catherine of Siena, she was declared the doctor of a church by Pope Paul VI. May St. Teresa pray for us. Thank you.